Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you a video on how to install Boot Camp with Windows 10 on Mac OS. Today I'm going to be using a 5K iMac, uh, the 2017 5K iMac more specifically, but this applies to pretty much every Apple computer that's out there running Mac OS 10 or later. The versions of Boot Camp haven't changed too much, just the Windows um, version, I guess. You know, this can be a Windows 10 installation or a Windows 7 installation, it doesn't really matter. When I was working at Apple for over five and a half years, I was always known as the guy that uh, somehow got Boot Camp to work successfully on every computer first go. Um, so when I was working there, I got given this title of the Boot Camp King, whatever that might mean. Um, but hopefully this video will help you get Boot Camp and Windows installed on your Mac. And if you have any questions, uh, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So thanks for watching. Cheers. All right guys, so this is the beginning of the tutorial for getting Windows 10 installed on your Mac using Boot Camp. And before I start, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the Mac that I'm using. So the Mac that I'm using is a iMac 5K 27 inch 2017 model. It's a Mac with a i7 16 gigabytes of RAM and the Radeon Pro 580. The operating system is macOS High Sierra 10.13.6. So now that we've got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start by talking about some of the requirements you'll need. Um, one of the biggest things that I find that uh, can really make the whole process very problematic is not having a USB drive with enough space and also a USB drive that's not fast enough. So the USB drive that I've got currently in my computer is a 16 gigabyte drive from Lacey, which is a USB 3 drive. So plenty of space and also plenty, um, plenty fast enough to copy all the files that you need to. If you get one of those really cheap USB drives, sometimes it can just take um, hours and hours and hours to copy as the Windows 10 operating system has a lot of files um, and you want the whole process to be done as quick as possible. So get yourself a good USB drive um, and thank me later for it. Now, before we get into the bootcamp part, we need to go ahead and open up Disk Utility. So you can do that by typing into Spotlight Search in the top right corner, Disk Utility, and opening up that application and finding your USB drive. So I've got my external Lacey drive here and we're gonna go ahead and erase it to make sure that there's nothing on the drive before we proceed. So just make sure you've backed up anything that you need to back up. If you're using a USB drive, and then we're going to hit erase. Now, as far as the name, it doesn't actually matter what you name it. Um, what's more important is the format. So with the format, always go ahead and select XFAT for this situation. So we'll click XFAT and then we'll click erase. Wait for that process to go through, it should take a few seconds and then press done. So now that the drive is formatted correctly in the right format of XFAT and we've got 15.9 gigabytes on this 16 gigabyte drive free, what we're going to do next is go and open Safari and we're going to download the Windows 10 ISO file. So the easiest way to do that is to Google search Windows 10 ISO. And what you should get is the link uh, from Microsoft to download Windows 10. So we're gonna click download Windows 10 and we're going to select the edition. So this is allowing you to choose Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. So depending on which license that you've purchased, just make sure you're downloading the correct edition. So as far as the editions, I'm gonna go ahead and download Windows 10. We're gonna press confirm. It's then going to ask you down the bottom here, choosing the language. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English. And we're gonna press confirm again. So if you use a different language, just collect, uh, sorry, select the version or the language that suits you. And then we have two options here for 32-bit download or 64-bit. Now, as all Mac computers are running OS 10 or later, are 64-bit compatible PCs, I would recommend always to download the 64-bit version. If you've got an older Mac, you know, you may have to do the 32-bit version if you can't run Mac OS 10, but I would always recommend 
for Apple computers to be running the 64-bit version. So the download itself is going to be a few gigabytes, so it can take maybe half an hour, an hour, depending on the internet connection that you have. Um, so allow some time for that as well. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the ISO file. So I have it here on the desktop, and we can see that the file is around about 4.6 gigabytes in size. So, like I said, depending on your internet connection, it can take a little bit of time. Once you've got the file downloaded, what you need to do is again is go to your Spotlight search and type in Bootcamp and then launch that application. Once you've launched the Bootcamp Assistant, what you'll need to do is click continue and then go ahead and navigate uh, using the browser or the finder to where the, uh, the ISO file is. So we'll hit choose and we'll go to desktop, click on Windows 10 ISO, click open. So we've got the path here and now we can go ahead and select how much space we want to allocate to Windows. Now, depending on what your plans are with your computer and with Windows and also how big the hard drive is on your Mac, um, this is going to be something that you're going to have to really research and determine for yourself. Um, but for me, it's going to be just for playing some casual games um, through Steam. So we're going to go ahead and allocate about 250 gigabytes to Windows. And we're going to go ahead and click install. Now what it's doing is it's downloading any remaining uh, drivers from Microsoft onto the USB drive as well as copying the Windows 10 ISO file. So depending on the performance of your PC and your internet connection, this can take anywhere from a few minutes to half an hour or possibly even longer. So we'll come back in a minute once this process is finished and we'll go ahead and we'll take you through the Windows 10 installation. But that's really all you need to know as far as the requirements, the prerequisites of um, what type of USB drive you need and what format, and downloading Windows 10. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. Hopefully my tutorial helped you out. Uh, if I did leave out any information or if you have any questions, I'll leave um, some instructions down below. Be sure to reach out to me and ask me any questions if I didn't answer the question that you might have had or the issue that you might have encountered. If you did like this video, then give me a like or hit the thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're interested in purchasing an Apple computer, um, then I'll leave the Amazon affiliate link to that too. Um, as well as my Facebook and Instagram. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.